Hey there, welcome back to another exciting day of chemistry. I know you thought you were doing a lab today. Well, guess what? I thought I was going to be here. So, let's take a little look into this introduction of what is organic chemistry. You've got the notes in front of you, and, and I'm not going to get too crazy. All I'm going to pretty much do on this video is just kind of really show you how to do this stuff. It's really not that hard. Uh, in terms of what organic chemistry is, used to be thought to be derived from things that are living, all right? We've already done this chart, this structure. We've already done this this year, so we're not going to go back through and do this again. But when you do this in college, you'll have to relearn all this stuff again. Well, we're going to get stripped to, get to, stripped to. <laughs> hey, the button's coming. No, never mind. Uh, anyway. So what we're going to get to in this video is pretty much how does the naming work. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take your notes and I want you to go to this section over here. And you'll see CH4, C2H6, C3H8, C4, and so forth. What I need you to learn to begin with is this. I need you to learn the words and I don't, my notes are kind of small so I'm going to slip off here and write on another sheet of paper. But one, when you have one carbon atom, when you have one carbon atom, that's known as meth. So here's how it works. Two, eth. Three, meth, eth, prope. Four is but. Five is pent. And then six is hex. I'm writing gigantic for some reason. Hept. A hex hept eight oct nine known or nona and then let's see ten deca. So we'll go back three four penta uh the the hept oct known deck. Alright, so here's your prefixes and you pretty much already know these. Now Here's what you've got to learn next. Other than the prefix, I need you to learn a few words. I need you to learn the words ain, ein, and ein. These are the three main words. When you see the word ain, that means a double bond between your carbon atoms. When you see the word ein, that means a double bond. Did I just say the word double there? Wow, I'm messing this up. Anyway, if you see ain, that means a single bond between your carbons. If you see ein, that means a double bond. And if you see ein, you can probably guess that means a triple bond between your atoms. So right off the gate, it gets actually pretty easy. Say, for example, if you see the word methane, all right? What methane is telling you is that you have meth means one carbon and it's single bonds. That's what the ain and the thing is there's nothing else to go with this. So all we have to do is fill this in with H's. So you have just drawn a picture of methane. That's all there is to it. So we could go through the list here a little bit. We could go ethane next. Ethane means two, so you go one, two, and ane means a single bond, which means that's ethane. And now if you remember back to what you learned earlier in the year, each carbon, though, needs four bonds. So we fill in the rest of those bonds with hydrogens. I'll be honest, when you take organic chem, you will get very good at drawing H's in a hurry. That's my little, with the little funky looking symbol in there. Anyway, y'all, we can just keep going through this. If you see prop, that means three carbons. So propane means three carbons connected by single bonds, and then you would go back and then you would connect each one of them with H's. Dun, dun, uh, uh. So far, it's really easy. Now, here is something that you learned how to do before. No, and I just looked. You actually had on this sheet of paper the little meth, eth, prop, and then butane. Well, you can figure what butane would be. Let's answer that. That would be four C's in a row. And then all you'd have to do is come back and fill H's in around each one of those. Now, here's the thing. 
This word isomers down here is where this is about to come in. Butane has what's known as an isomer. In other words, I want you to look. If I gave you, if I just say butane, that's one, two, three, four C's. Well, this meets all the requirements. But here's the thing. This also meets all the requirements. Oh, so that's butane and this is butane. Well, sort of. This would be known as butane. This one is known as isobutane. But here's the catch. We can't have a system of naming this generic. I mean, yeah, for butane it's easy. Two isomers. Pentane, which would be five C's, three isomers. Decane, 75. C20H42. That should be my project for the day. Draw at least 10,000 isomers of C20H42. That could probably keep you busy for a while. So let's kind of get into this a little bit. How do you name these kinds of things? All right. Here's what you do, no matter what you've got. The last word is going to end up telling you your longest chain. So if you see pentane, that means five C's in the chain. Uh, hexane, six C's in the chain. Decane, ten C's in the chain. So that's kind of like your root. So I'll do an example of one here. I'm going to grab... Getting some stuff kind of showing through. So let's try and do an example. So like in terms of homework, what would you end up having to try and do? Well, let's look at the examples that were actually on your paper here. So I'm going to recopy that first example down. It looks like, and now if you notice, the H's are really kind of unnecessary. All right, I want you to look at this. Here's how you name this picture. I want you to find the longest chain in this picture. We could go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've already established that the longest chain is this. So there's your chain. So here's how we name this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the thing. There's two different ways we can number this. We can number it one, two, three, four, five, and six. Or we could name it one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, either way, when we go to name this, the root of the word is going to be hexane because there's six C's in a row. Now, here's the only thing y'all have got to learn. Do you notice how that there's one C hanging off of it? That one C we call, it's called an alkyl group, but that's going to in particular be called a methyl group is what that is. So this is going to be, and I'm going to throw the word methyl down right in front of this. Methyl hexane. But the thing is, we need to say where the methyl is. Where is the 1C? Is it off the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th one? Well, it's either off the 4th or the 3rd. Well, here's what you learn. You number it in such a way that it gets you the smallest numbers, which means the 4, 5, 3, 6 is, this is the way it's going to go. 1, 2, 3, and you call this 3 dash methyl meaning there's a C hanging off the third of a chain of six. And that is all there is to doing these things. They're that easy. I'm going to do this next one in the picture over here. So next one in the picture looks like I've got a bunch of C's. One, two, three, four, five. And then I've got, let's see, one C here and one C here. All right. So I've got five C's in this one. All right. Now, the first thing I need to do is number it. I can already tell that this is my long chain. I've got a chain of five, which means when I go to name this, it's going to end in pentane. So the end of this word is going to be pentane. All i got to do now is look at this. I've got a carbon here and a carbon here. 
So I've got, there's a methyl, there's a methyl. So I've got two different methyls hanging off this thing. I need to number it so that I get to those the quickest. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. So I'm going to number it starting at the right. Four and five. One, two, three, four, and five. So now what we can end up going back and doing is do this. I've got two methyls. What do you think I'm going to write? Well, I'm going to write the words dimethyl down. And since I've got two of them, I'm going to write two comma three. I've got two methyls, one off the second and one off the third. That's all I have to do. Take a look at the next one down here. And so I've got, oh, woo, I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in the chain. So let's try and see if we can do that. Six carbons, three, four, five, six. And I've got, let's see, off this one here, I've got one up, one down. And then I've got one down over here. And I'm just about to start just making up a bunch of examples of these. All right, here's the thing. My longest chain is right straight across. It's six of them. So I'm looking, and I've got those hanging off of the chain. Looks like I've got a total of six carbon atoms, but I've got three hanging little suckers hanging off the side. All right, well, let's go and do something. Since my chain is six... Let's go ahead and write the word hexane down on this. So I've got a chain of six. I've got that's a methyl, that's a methyl, that's a methyl. So I've got three methyls. So I'm going to write tri-methyl, kind of jamming it in. It's kind of funny. If you're dyslexic like me, you got to love these problems because you get to write straight backwards on here. And now all I'm going to do is say where they are. Well, I need to number it. One... I could go one, I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, or I can go from this side, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if I go this way, that'll be a two. If I go this way, this will be a two. I'm going to go from the left because I want to get two, two. I've got two here. So it's kind of more important. So I'm going to go 2, comma, 2, comma, then off the fifth one, trimethylhexane. That's the answer to that one. So now, let's just sit here and start having some fun. Drawing, oh, I know you are. Let's just start drawing some of these things. And it gets kind of hard to mess them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to do this off the center one. I'm going to put one up and one down. Well, it's really clear your longest chain, and no matter how you number, one, two, three, four, five. We've got a chain of five, so this answer is going to end in pentane. And now all we got to do is go, well, what have we got here? We've got a carbon hanging off here and a carbon hanging off here. Well, that's called a methyl. So I'm going to say I've got two of those, so I'm going to call it a dimethyl. Now i got to say where they are. They're both on the three. So three comma three dimethyl pentane. That is it. Ooh, man, I'm killing it. How about another one? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now watch this. One, two. So I'm going to do something different. First off, find your longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Now start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So if I start here or start here, either way I make a chain of seven. Hey, what about if I did this? One, two, three, 
four, five. Well, that's obviously not the longest chain. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means this one is going to end in the word heptane. So this one's going to end in the word heptane. But now look at this. I've got a pa I've got C's connect. This is not like this problem. I've got two C's in this problem, but they're not connected. That's a meth. That's a meth. So that's what we call this dimethyl. This one down here, that's not a meth. This is two C's. What word means two C's? Hmm. Oh, wait. I got it. Eth. This is what's known as an ethyl group. And I don't do dye or nothing because all I've got is one ethyl. So all I need is a number. Where does it come? It's on the third one. So I call that 3-ethylheptane. Oh, I know what you kids are wanting. Your kid, ah, I can see it in your faces. I know I'm not there to look at you, but still though, I can, I really, I, I, I know where you're going. You're sitting there thinking, alright Mr. Cole, what if, what if it gave us the name? So what if we were looking at one and it gave us like, huh, I'm trying to think of something here. 3 dash propyl, oh that's right, I just went there. 3 dash propyl decane, oh my goodness, this is, this is just went off the chart. And now I've also got to think in my head if I can do what I just said. 3 dash off the third, nope, can't call it this. I can call it 4 dash though. And later on, you'd know why three would have been wrong. But four dash propyl decane. Holy cow. Well, let's do this. The root of the word is decane. That means I need four C's. One, two, or four. I'm a goob. Oh, I just said that on video. Ignore that. This never happened. This never happened. Oh, wait, it did. Anyway, dec means ten. So I need a chain of 10 carbons. Ain means one line between them all. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Whew. Now I need to number it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is a little overkill for this, but anyway. And now... On the fourth one, I'm going to attach a propyl group. Well, what does propyl mean? Well, if methyl, methyl meant you had a C hanging off of it. Ethyl means you had two C's hanging off of it. So propyl would mean three C's hanging off of it. So go up here to the fourth one. And I'm going to put a line. You want to go up or down? Let's go down. And this is the thing. You've got a choice. You can either just hang them off straight down like C. You can let them go C-C-C straight down. Or if you want to conserve a little paper, you can just do this, dash C. And then you can kind of hang a right turn, dash C-C. Dash C. Either way, it still works because you've got three C's in a row. Y'all, this is all your homework is. All you got to do is look at the word or create the word if you're not given one. Uh, oh, I'll get somebody with this one. Dash C, dash C, dash C, dash C. Uh, dash C. Oh, the kids got it. Oh, this is just crazy. So how do you number this one? Make the longest chain you can find. One, two, three. Not the longest chain. One, two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five. So it doesn't matter if you call that one or that one. It's both going to be the same. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And again, I could have numbered it backwards, but I want to get to this as quick as I can. So here I've got one C hanging off this. All right. So now let's name it. I've got a chain of five, so that means my word is going to root 
with the word pentane. And now in front of it, I've got 1C hanging off. Well, that's a methyl. And now where is it? It's on the second one. So you just write 2 dash methyl pentane. And that's all you have to do. I'm just having a ball. One more, and then I'm done. Plus, this video is 20 minutes long, and y'all are probably all asleep. Maybe this is the time where I should do like balloon animals. Or maybe I'll murder this pack of ketchup. You watch me. You watch me. That ketchup. Oh, it's, it's, you don't think I'll do it. So help me. This ketchup is, it's over for you. Oh! That's right. I will now work a problem in ketchup. Oh, wow, I just made like a big smeary. Okay, so what if the problem said, let's go with, uh, you know, it's really hard to write and catch it. Three. Wow, it's incredibly hard to write and catch it. Maybe I'll just write the number three. So three, Dale Earnhardt, thank you very much. So three dash... Um, let's sit here and, hold on, hold on. Let's try and up the game a little bit. I'm trying to look and see if I can find the worksheet y'all are doing. I don't think it's got any dies on there. Hmm. Three dash. Oh, my goodness, my brain is stalling. Ethel. 3-ethylhexane. Oh my goodness, there we go. Alright, so how do you do this? Well, let's look at the root word. Hexane. So you've got a chain of six C's. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they are all connected by single lines. And now on the third one, there should be one two C's hanging off of it, thus an ethyl. Y'all, that's it. Now, some books will try and make it a pain in the butt, look a little bit harder. Uh, sometimes they'll do like this. CH3-CH2-CH2-CH3-CH3. Well, that looks like it's harder, but here's the thing. Ignore the H's. This is just C, 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 C. C. Alright, so if you really take a look at it, it's just four C's in a chain, which means the root of this is butane, and then you've got a single C hanging off of one, two, off of the second one, so a single C is a methyl, and so this would be a single C, a methyl, this would be two dash methyl butane, and that's all there is. Now, I would say, does anybody have any questions? But this is a video, and I am in Heflin. I wonder. Hey! <laughs> it's stuck. Look. <laughs> okay. Whoever's subbing this is going to be thinking I'm one weird. Uh, oh, finger paint. Oh, sorry. Anyway, video's over. Uh, good luck.